So in this particular situation, we have an athlete that we suspect has a spinal uh, cord issue or a spinal fracture or dislocation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a C-collar, which is gonna allow us to more safely uh, transport uh, this individual to the emergency room via an ambulance. Uh, one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, it's sized correctly for the individual and most seat collars are adjustable. Uh, each one adjusts a little bit differently though. So this particular one just has small little uh, tabs that go up and down uh, that allows you to uh, move it depending on their neck length. This particular one um, has uh, small little tabs that pull out then these uh, little measurement clips kind of move up and down and then that allows this to slide up and down, again, depending on the length of the actual um, athlete's neck. So in order to test and size that, one of the things that we'll do is we'll take our hands and we'll place it from the bottom of the jaw to the top of the shoulder, giving us typically the shoulder length or a neck length of either uh, three to four fingers. And that allows us to directly transpose that onto the actual brace in order to get the appropriate size. This particular one is the one that I'm gonna actually fit. It has a uh, front and a back, so you wanna make sure that you're placing those correctly. Uh, the reason that I like this particular one is it allows you to separate the two, sliding the back piece on first and then directly applying the front um, over uh, the front of the neck. So we've got our assistant here that's doing the inline stabilization making sure that she doesn't move anywhere. I'm gonna slide the C-collar directly up underneath the neck, making sure that it's equal distance on either side. I'm gonna bring the front piece in, slide it directly underneath the jaw. I'm gonna Velcro strap the pieces in, making sure that it's nice and secure and make sure they, making sure that her uh, head and neck is secure. And now we can actually transport this athlete onto a spine board or onto a stretcher for transport.